Namaste ma'am. You are welcome to our school. We are elated to meet an astronaut like you. In our school, we are celebrating the Global Astronomy Month. We are also taken on field trips to observe the stars and the galaxies using the telescope. Namaste. Glad to know that your school celebrates Global Astronomy Month in a grand manner. Happy to be a part of this celebration. Ma'am, in our school, we are taken on the field trips to observe the stars and galaxies using the telescopes. We also came to know about the Hubble Space Telescope through our Astronomy Club educators and also that it has been launched in 1990 and it has become the first ever major optical telescope to be placed in the space, the ultimate mountain top. Oh yes! Hubble's launch and deployment in April 1990 marked the most significant achievement in astronomy since Galileo's telescope. The Hubble has helped in observing the most distant stars and galaxies as well as planets in our solar system. This is the aperture door. It can close if necessary to prevent the light from the sun from entering and potentially damaging the telescope or its instruments. That's thoughtful. We also came to know that these are the solar panels that produce the energy that is required by the science equipment to operate simultaneously. We also came to know that these are the communication antennas that send the radio waves to the NASA's communication satellites. You are right. The Hubble has helped in making over 5 million observations and also helped in observing more than 40,000 cosmic objects. That's mind-blowing. I have decided today that I would take up astronomy in my future to learn more about the universe. Space is truly one fascinating subject. So much to learn and discover. And there's an absolute need for new rocket scientists and astronauts. I wish you all the very best for your future. Thank you, ma'am.